and welcome to Music at St. David's. My name is Douglas Buchanan, and it's my honor to serve as Director of Music Ministries at St. David's Episcopal Church in Baltimore, Maryland. This event continues our 2020-2021 virtual concert season, focusing particularly on commemorating the feast of Martin Luther, pastor and reformer, which occurs on February 18th. In 2017, I had the opportunity to travel to Germany and observe the numerous celebrations and exhibits which were occurring in preparation for the 500th anniversary of the Reformation. Particularly for a musician, it was impactful to be reminded of the many beautiful works which emerged from the Reformation, including particularly the music of J.S. Bach. This is not to ignore, of course, the divisive nature of the Reformation or the fact that Luther was far from a perfect individual but to underscore the deep and abiding impact that this event had on both European society and Christian sects. At St. David's, we joined many churches across the world in marking the 500th anniversary of the Reformation with a festival service, including the offering of J.S. Bach's beloved cantata, Ein Festeburg ist unser Gott, or A Mighty Fortress is Our God. In it, Bach weaves the titular hymn by Luther into numerous movements, sometimes highly ornamented, sometimes stated plainly. We're pleased to offer a recording of that performance today as part of this virtual liturgy. Though most of our even songs are preceded by a recital, due to the length and liturgical nature of this offering, it will appear during the service proper in place of the anthem. A program for this event, including texts of all musical works, is found in the video description below, as well as several other useful links. If you are moved by the music you hear and want to be alerted to future musical events, you can sign up for our email newsletter. If you would like to support the music series and the musicians you hear, you may do so in the following ways. First, we invite you to make a secure donation via PayPal by clicking the donate link below. All donations go directly to supporting musicians in our community. If you are not able to make a financial contribution, we certainly understand. You can still offer support simply by clicking like, following us on Facebook and YouTube, and sharing this link with those you know who love music. I hope this music is meaningful to you at this time. For Music at St. David's, I'm Doug Buchanan, and I look forward to singing with you.
Lord, open thou our lips. And our mouths shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, ever shall be, shall be the Lord, the Lord. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord bless
Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their way and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord that he may have mercy on them, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. reading from John. Jesus said, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me and my word abides in you, ask for whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you 
and that your joy may be complete. Lord, now let us thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation. Which thou hast prepared before the face of all people to be a light to lighten the Gentiles and to be the glory And 
do thy ministers with righteousness. And be thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people. And bless thy inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. God, may clean our hearts within us. And take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O God, our refuge and our strength, thou didst raise up thy servant Martin Luther to reform and renew thy church in the light of thy word. Defend and purify the church in our own day, and grant that through faith we may boldly proclaim the riches of thy grace, which thou hast made known in Jesus Christ our Savior, who with thee and the Holy Spirit liveth and reigneth, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, who art the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead, we thank thee for the timely blessings of the day, and humbly beseech thy merciful protection all the night. Bring us, we pray thee, in safety to the morning hours, through him who died for us and rose again, Thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, who dost in manifest in thy servants the signs of thy presence, send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another thine abounding grace may increase among us, through Jesus Christ our Lord.
Let us pray. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who created all peoples in your image, we thank you for the wonderful diversity of races and cultures in this world. Enrich our lives by ever-widening circles of fellowship and show us your presence in those who differ most from us. Until our knowledge of your love is made perfect in our love for all your children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and has promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Yeah.